All right, this is going to be a short episode. I just want to clear up some confusion when you have more than one USB input. Uh, the naming in IK Multimedia can be a little bit confusing, so let's clarify that. In the Audio MIDI tab, you can see we have input and output sections. In this video, I'm just talking about the input section. The term input tends to get a bit overloaded in AT5, and it isn't used consistently. Let me show you what I mean with an example. In the left channel, N1 means select the first input from the USB interface. I'm going to set the left channel to N2 and leave the right channel on N1. I also want to point out I'm not going to plug a guitar or anything else into my USB input number two. Let's exit the control panel. Note we are in the 8-track recorder mode as opposed to the looper or live modes. Let's toggle over to the track view of the recorder mode. In the two guitar video, we talked about the input switch in the lower left. This is where the lack of consistent naming arises. It defaults to input one. If I strum my guitar, we don't hear anything, even though my guitar is in input one. If I switch to input two, I do hear my guitar, even though nothing is plugged into input two. What is going on here? If we click the button one more time, we get a hint. Now it says stereo. Right, this is the lack of consistent naming I mentioned. Input one here means select what you set up as left in the control panel. I set the left channel to my USB input two and there's nothing plugged in there, so no sound when that option is active. Input two is the right channel and that was set to my USB input one, which has my guitar plugged in. So we can hear the guitar on input two and stereo, but not on input one. It seems to me that labeling these left and right would have led to less confusion. While we're here, let's take a closer look at the input meter. I'll switch to input two, or the right channel as I like to call it, and you can see the top and bottom of the meter is the same. My right channel is being fed to both the left and right for this track. If I switch the input one more time to stereo, you can see that only the bottom meter is moving. That is, we only have the right channel coming in. That's handy to remember. The left channel is on top and the right channel is on the bottom. We'll come back to this in a minute. First, you might think that since the guitar is only on the right channel, you could mute the guitar by panning to the left, but that doesn't work. Let's go back to our chain view. The reason it didn't mute is because our stack is set up as a mono chain. The single channel comes in, but gets put out on both the left and right output channels. However, if we split to a stereo processing chain, now the right channel is heading to the bottom amp, and that is why the bit of info about the meter is useful. The bottom of the meter corresponds visually to the bottom of this stereo chain mode. That is admirably consistent. The right channel is low on the meter and low on your user interface. And the left channel, of course, which has no input, is heading to the top amp. Back to the track view, now when I pan to the left, it isolates to just the amplified left channel, which has no guitar, so it's silent. Back to the control panel, and let's change the left channel back to input one. Now panning left gives me one stack, and panning to the right gives me the other one. I guess the best troubleshooting hint I can give here is if you have a USB interface with multiple inputs and you're having trouble getting a sound, Switch the recorder mode over to stereo and check both what you hear and what you see in the input meters. Or jump over to live mode and see if you get a different result. The live and looper modes are in the equivalent of the stereo mode by default. You can see both meters of the input meter moving and if I go back and switch the left channel to input two, you still hear the guitar, although a bit quieter now, but only the bottom meter is moving. That's it. I hope if you were having issues, that helps clear things up. Rock in peace.